Hello and welcome to another video. I um, have a request on Facebook um, that a user wants to know how you can make your own chat application or add a feature to your website with a chat um, feature on your page. So uh, at first it seems to be a big project but I end up finding this library and to get started um, all you need to do is create a new project what I did is a new project and I end up using ASP.NET web application name it once you're done with that what you need to do is go to your tools uh, I went to library package manager package manager console after that you click on this you have this window come up so what you need to do is install this package install this package microsoft.asp.net.signalr space and there's a dash pre so before you do anything you need to do this once you hit enter you'll start seeing all of this attempting to resolve blah 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 and we'll start going down and it will say in successful install and just wait a few seconds depending on your connection and you'll see that it's added a lot of packages to your uh, project so once you have that done you can see on your reference and now you have this uh, libraries in your uh, solution or your uh, project you have those and I think this one too and also if you go to the scripts there's some now you got jQuery 1.6 I think this one it starts with 1.4 and as you can see here there's two other uh, JavaScript files that we're going to be using and you see how simple this is at first it seemed like a huge job but after following uh, the tutorial you see how it is it is so once you install your packages the next thing you need to do is uh, make a class so right click at class name it whatever you want in this case I named mine chat hub so I named chat hub and then what you're gonna do is add this uh, namespace using microsoft.asp.signalr and then just inherit the from this class and then all you need to do now is set this a method called public voice sent you're gonna take two arguments the name that is the who sent the message and the actual message and the next thing you need to do is just type this line which means that it will the server once it gets a message it will basically like it says here broadcast the message to everybody on the room uh, the chat room and it will display it will submit the name who sent it and the message so this is very simple so make sure you have this class after that there's two options either you can add an HTML page just right click add new and then just HTML and name it whatever you want you can do that and but I'm just gonna skip this one because the default uh, SPX has the same uh, data in it same thing here just an HTML page but we'll just look at the default uh, HTML uh, default ASPX so we need what I have here is just a basic uh, like a chat and don't worry about the CSS right now because that's not really important what you need to look at is the what's on the body content and what we have here is just a basic div container just reference to this guy and we're just gonna make it kind of great 
around a border and a color that's it so this is not a big deal you don't need to have it to make this work but what you need to copy and paste and make sure is this section all this section all this JavaScript section so as you can see here uh, with reference to the jQuery to the signal jQuery I'm sorry the signal R library which you have on your script folders and then you have this guy and at first you see that that line says not found don't worry about it because this is created on the fly once you launch your project or when you start debugging your site um, this library uh, signal R will build it for you so here here's the jQuery section so what you're seeing right now is just making sure that the page is ready when it's ready we're gonna declare this proxy reference and basically you have to follow this rule back to the class we'll kind of do this like this so your class is called chat hub as you can see here after you do dollar sign that connection that make sure your uh, jQuery name here is, is lowercase you don't need if you make it capital C it's not gonna work for you so make sure that is lowercase and the next one is like it is on your class then the next thing you need to do is as you can see here uh, the browser is basically saying send it getting the here at this when you go back to the c sharp page when the server send this message this is how the on the client side will pick up the message and it will pick up the name and the message message as you can see here name and message and from here this is optional you don't need to do this but from here you can see that we'll, now we can pull who sent it and what's the message and basically here using jQuery we're just adding uh, name and message with a div and with a list so there's nothing fancy here so after that it says here get the name get the username and store it to prevent prepend to messages just adding the, this is you'll see when, when I run the sample you'll see what this means basically we'll just you have a pop-up saying enter your name or username and then once you enter it it will keep track of who's sending it and basically here this is just getting back to the uh, focus of the input box that's all it is doing uh, from here you're starting that connection to your hub so basically saying once this guy is done um, once the connection is done to your hub to this guy then what I want to know is uh, I want to send uh, messages so as you can see the send again it's lowercase s here it's capital S so just keep it that way lowercase s and it will basically send it you're grabbing the value of the name the user and their message and it's going into the server and then the server will broadcast that message you just sent to everybody so you get a copy of what you said and the other person will get a copy of what you're sending and this that's it just clear your message box so you can add another message in the chat room so now we'll just hit start debugging because of this guy and as you can see there's a enter your name so we'll just say or whatever you want to enter so cafe is P I'm gonna enter and then I'm gonna open another browser I'm gonna copy it. before I do that I'm gonna so this is like pretending we are on another user on another computer uh, we're gonna say YouTube 
user something click ok so as you can see here we're gonna pretend uh, to be two persons using another browser so we we'll just say hello and as you can see you got a copy of what you said and the other client or browsers I got a copy too and it says who sent it now we're gonna say uh, hello I'm doing okay so you can see you said you have the username I'm doing okay and then the, on the other side the other person got the message so it's pretty cool can see we're getting the two browsers are in sync as you can see so you get the idea you got it so that's all you need to do to build your own chat in your application your website so I'm gonna close this guy and on the description I'm gonna add where you can download this sample and also the if you don't if you're not using this works with basic HTML as you can see here it will work so it's part of the download that I will include and also we include where I got the all this information from and you you can follow and on your own and make your own demos or you can uh, add more features to it so if you have any question just uh, leave a note on YouTube thank you for watching